Hi there, my name is Michelle from Moonlight Makes and today I am super excited to be showing you how to make needle felted jellyfish. So let's start with all of the fun things that are in your jellyfish kit. You're gonna have in this kit your foam, you're gonna have a couple of needle felting needles. These have barbs and they're very special needles. You're gonna have some core wool, which is very nice for shaping your jellyfish. They'll be the, on the inside. You're gonna have what's called wool nips. These are for decoration. You're gonna have some wire and some hooks. You're also gonna have what's called art bat wool, which is basically a bunch of interesting wool kind of carded all together. And you're gonna have some periwinkle Murano wool. Your first task is going to be to decide how many jellyfish you want to make and how big you want them to be. So I'm gonna start with my core wool, which is nice to shape. It's gonna be the inside of our jellyfish and I'm gonna roll it up and I'm gonna stab it into a, the shape of a, the top of a mushroom. So I'm just kinda gonna push the wool in and stab it until it's like an oval shape. This will take between five and 10 minutes to do. You're gonna wanna stab straight down and the end product should be less fluffy than a cotton ball more like a Q-tip. Now I'm gonna make two of these little fluff balls so that I can make two jellyfish. And while I do that, I wanted to give you a couple of hints and tips. Number one, try to stab straight down as often as you can. These nasals are especially sharp and they are likely to draw blood if you stab yourself, so be extra careful. If you get really into needle felting, they actually have finger protectors. I don't like to use them because I like the texture of the wool, but a lot of people really enjoy them. Also, I'm using the larger needle, but the smaller needle also works just as well. It all depends upon kind of what you enjoy doing and what feels right. Now that I'm happy with the shape of my jellyfish, I'm gonna take this Murano wool and I'm basically gonna cover the core wool with it so that I'm basically painting with needle felting. I'm gonna pull it apart so that it is kind of like a thin layer. You can always add more. And then I'm gonna wrap it around the jellyfish. And then I'm just gonna tack it on. The core wool gives you a really nice base to attach the softer Murano wool to. And if you get it wrong, don't worry about it. Just pull it off and try again. I'm just wrapping this all the way around my jellyfish puffball part, and I'm just gonna stab it all the way around. Now this process is gonna take another five or 10 minutes, and depending upon how smooth you want your jellyfish to be on the outside, give it more work. When covering my sculptures, I really like to use the smaller needle and I like to stab a lot more lightly than I would as I'm shaping the wool. So be gentle and um, just work until it's in a place where you are happy. Our next step is gonna be to decorate our jellyfish. We're gonna use these wool neeps and wool neeps are residual parts of the wool process. They're not entirely easy to stab onto a jellyfish or really any sculpture. But if you use the small needle, go slow and are patient, you can absolutely use them. If they are too frustrating for you, don't worry about it. And just use other parts of wool to decorate your jellyfish. Now I'm gonna show you how to make the dreamy tentacles of your jellyfish. What you're gonna do is you're gonna wind up pulling off a small piece of your art butt and just stabbing it right into the base of the jellyfish. And then you'll add a few more. The art bat has a whole bunch of different interesting colors, so it's gonna create a really neat um, look. You can make your jellyfish tentacles as large or as small as you like. Just add as much or as little of this art bat along the bottom. One of the fun things you can also do is take pieces of the art bat and twist it and create designs around your jellyfish. That way your jellyfish has all kinds of fun decorations. Put as many or as few decorations as you like on your jellyfish. Now our final step for our jellyfish is going to be to add wires so that we can hang them up. We included a couple of earring hooks just for fun in case you'd like to make your jellyfish into a pair of earrings. And if you'd like to do that, just add them to the wire before you insert the wire into your jellyfish. 
just like that. Now we'll do a second one. Just loop the wire into the earring hook and pinch it together. Our final step is going to be to take a needle felting needle and stab our jellyfish all the way through. Now wool is self-healing, so you're gonna wanna fa work fairly quickly to get your wire inserted into that hole so that it doesn't close up on you. Once you have the, or the wire into the hole, you're just gonna fold it and bend it so that it stays, and then it's cover, and then you're gonna cover it up with your tentacles. That way you can't see the wire. Let's do that one more time with our second jellyfish, and we'll spend a little bit of time making sure that they are nice and adjusted and all pretty so that you can't see the wiring. Once you're done with your wiring, then you get to decide what you're gonna do with these needle felted beauties. Did you know that a group of jellyfish is called a smack? I really enjoy taking my jellyfish and letting them swim among my house plants. Sometimes I also like to turn them into fashion accessories.